Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me here again today. Um, I don't really know exactly what we're gonna be doing, but I'm just gonna do it, talk you guys through it, and we'll come up with a look. So to start off, I'm gonna be using my Luminizer Primer and my Professional. I'm just rubbing this all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my professional on my T-zone area, where I feel like my foundation kind of breaks up the most and I get oily there, so. We are putting some professional on that. Okay, for foundation, I'm gonna be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick, and this is in the shade Warm Natural. Now, I like full coverage, so I put a lot. Taking this Morphe brush, I'm just blending it out. So I have my cosmetologist degree. Um, I used to work in a hair salon. Uh, I don't anymore because I like to stay with Grayson for right now. He's just too cute. But anyways. I do people's hair like on the side if they ask me to and stuff and I just did a girl's hair and she had really long thick curly hair and we cut it into a short stacked bob and it just makes me miss doing hair sometimes. It is really fun. When I was in cosmetology school I used to be like terrified to cut a stacked bob. It was like I hated it. Like, Alright so next I'm going to go in with these two concealers. The L'Oreal infallible pro glow so this is the more dewier formula of this stuff but y'all look at these concealers like these are literally a shade apart there might be a, one shade in between but i got this color because it was lighter than the shade i was in between and this is so pink but i really like the formula of the concealer so that's why i'm gonna keep these in anyways i'm going in with the ivory color this concealer is just so creamy and blends away like literally nothing. So after I got that on, I'm going to go in with the other shade. I don't even know what color this is in. It don't matter. But anyways, it's the same stuff. I'm just putting a little bit more on here. Kind of blend that in. Because y'all, it's like so pink. I don't get it. But like I said, I really like the formula. So I'm going to use it. Look how easy that blends away. Just like literally into nothing. I shouldn't say into nothing. I mean like just blend so easily. Like no effort is what I should say. Just blends away so easy, so effortlessly. So y'all, I'm going back in with this palette. It's currently my favorite. The cream blush is so easy to work with and I just love the finish of it. So I'm putting this on before I put on any powder or anything because if you don't want to put cream over powder that will look bad so now that I got the cream blush on I'm gonna go in and set my face I got some powder in my lid I'm gonna take my beauty blender We took Grayson to the zoo this weekend and it was so cute watching him learn and like I could tell he was so focused. He had like his real focused face on, you know, he wasn't smiling. He was like so amazed of everything and he loved the reptile house. I like the reptile house too. I think it's, oh, ow, got powder in my eye, but yeah, I love the reptile house. AJ was like, no, thank you. Keep it away, but whatever. So after I did the blush, I'm going to go back in, oh, she's low. He's, I'm going to go back in with the powder blush just to re-enhance that blush. This is my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Love this stuff. It's like, I think 13 bucks maybe. I don't know. It might be 15, but it's a good drugstore bronzer. So I put a little bit of the butter bronzer down. Then I'm gonna go in with my hula, reinforce my contour. 
then I'm gonna go in with my Sun Bunny and pop that all over. So next, I'm gonna take the rest of my powder. And I'm using this Real Technique sponge because I like the sharp edge of it. And I am just going to cut the cheeks. Yep, okay, other side. Sometimes I stress over like getting them even. But y'all, you know, if you don't get it even, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. We will live. Will we though? Will we though? Next, it's time to wipe away the bait. So I just wipe it off in like circular motions and try and blend everything together again. So I'm gonna go in now, apply some of that diamond and blush base for my highlight. Like look how pretty that is on its own. When I first did it, I was like, I don't like it. It's not showing up. But all you gotta do is just really warm up the product. You know, like just run your finger in a little, little or the beauty blender and just warm it up. But I'm gonna put some on my nose, my forehead, and then I'm gonna go in and apply some of the diamond powder. So I wanna be careful with this because it is so like loose. I don't want to like have it scatter all about my face. You know, I want it to be concentrated just right here. And yeah. <laughs> oh man, she's beautiful. Hi. Okay guys, so next is time for the eyes. Still have no clue where I'm going with this look, but she gonna come together. She is gonna come together. So my eyes are primed already because I put the concealer on them and then I set it with powder. Usually I use eye primer, but you know, if I'm doing just a real simple look, I don't need to. So basically what I'm doing is I can zoom you guys in if you want. All right, so I am just buffing some bronzer through my crease. This nice neutral color, I am also gonna run it under my lid. Same brush, same big old fluffy brush. I'm gonna have the biggest wrinkles when I'm older from going like this. All right, next, I'm gonna go in. Y'all, this is really easy. I'm taking a, if I can open it. Okay, so I'm just taking this single, it's like a blush. It's by Bang Beauty and it is in the shade Cherry. So like it's a little dark for me as a blush, but I actually really like it as an eyeshadow. So I'm just taking this fluffy Smashbox Packer brush and packing that all over my lid. I'm trying to grow up my eyebrows also. I go through phases of like, Pretty much all the time, I'm like, I'm gonna grow my eyebrows. Then I grow them out and I'm like, I hate it, I need to pluck them. And like, I grow them out because I wanna go get them done, but that in between stage is just awful and I hate it. What else does mama wanna do? So I'm going in, dipping into this palette by Makeup Forever, and this is like this brown shade, but I feel like it has like some red tones in it that'll match my eye, but also add depth. So. We gonna go in there with that. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out because like I don't like being that close. So now that I got that on as my eyeshadow-ish, I'm gonna take the black shade now and just press it into my lash line right there on that outer edge. So if you guys like mess up like a little bit, you can just take like a different brush. This is another angled brush, but it's just like a little bit fluffier. The one that I was using was really tight. But anyways, I'm gonna go in and just very lightly blend on my lash line where I placed that black. So next, I'm gonna go in, open this asshole again. <sighs> Who can make products 
that hard to open? I would like to know. <sighs> okay guys, I am back. Um, I finished up my eyes off camera because my camera died, of course. But anyways, this is the finished look. I put on some Ardell Demi Whiskey Lashes. Um, and what I did to make like this pop, I went in with, first I did some of my Heavy Metal Midnight Capital Liner by Urban K. But that wasn't enough. I went in again with my Natasha Denona and I went in with the Diamond Powder, which is this one. And packed it on my lids while the Urban, Decl Urban Decay glitter liner was still wet. So I felt like that got like a really extreme look and I really like it. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead with my bottom lashes and I'm just using this Lash Paradise stuff. Y'all, this is like unbeatable drugstore mascara. Unbeatable, I haven't found a formula that I like this much in a while. And it's freaking fun to flake off. Yes. So next, I'm gonna go in with this, just like a little fancy beauty sample. Um, it is in the shade Griselda. Griselda? Griselda. Griselda? Griselda. That's the way I read it, so. Okay guys, so real quick before my camera dies again, this is the finished look. My lipstick looks wonky. I don't know what to do about it. I like dark lipstick, but it is just too hard, too hard. But I really like it, and especially from afar, I love it. I got a nice nude lipstick from Soap and Glory, and I love it. Also, if you guys want your hair done or your makeup done, and you live in the Atlanta area, up, you know also if you guys are a bride and you need hair and makeup done for your wedding me and my good friend Emma um, have started our own business called M&M's makeup and hair design and she does the hair I do the makeup for wedding parties so that's really exciting if you're a bride get in touch with me because like we will hook you up and we will do the damn thing thank you for watching Please subscribe to me.